How to find cumulative frequency and relative frequency in grouped data. Example of grouped data. In this example there are 7 classes and number of sample size is 60. The frequency is given in front of each classes. Finding cumulative frequency. Less than type and more than type. In order to find cumulative frequency, less than type, the first frequency, F1 which is 9 becomes the first cumulative frequency less than type from top which is highlighted as light sky blue color. For second cumulative frequency, less than type, we will add F2 which is 10 add with preceding frequency F1 with 9 to get 19. In this way you will find the rest of 5 cumulative frequency less than type. It is important tip that last or 7 cumulative frequency becomes total frequency, which is 60, highlighted as purple color. In order to find cumulative frequency, more than type, the last frequency, F9 which is 5 becomes the first cumulative frequency more than type from below. For second cumulative frequency more than type, we will add F8 which is 4 add with preceding frequency F9 with 5 to get 9. In this way you will find the rest of 5 cumulative frequency more than type. It is important tip that last or 7 cumulative frequency becomes total frequency, which is 60, highlighted as purple color. Thus, if your total frequency is 60 or any value, you can write it directly without calculation in cumulative frequency less than type and cumulative frequency more than type in cell heighted as purple, in order to save time. Finding relative frequency and relative cumulative frequency less than type. In order to find relative frequency, the first frequency is divided by total frequency. For example, the first frequency is 9 which is divided by 60 to get value of 0 0.15. In this way you will find the rest of 6 relative frequency less than type. Thus, relative frequency of a class is the percentage of the frequency that falls in that class. It is important tip that sum of relative frequency is 1. In order to find relative cumulative frequency, less than type, the first relative frequency is 0 0.5 becomes the first relative cumulative frequency, less than type, from top which is highlighted as light silver color. For second relative cumulative frequency, less than type, we will add second relative frequency which is 0 0.17 with preceding relative cumulative frequency which is 0 0.15 to get 0 0.32. In this way, you will find the rest of 5 relative cumulative frequency less than type. It is important tip that last or 7 relative cumulative frequency becomes total relative frequency, which is 1, highlighted as light sky blue color. Thus, your total relative frequency will be 1 then you can write it directly without calculation in last or 7 relative cumulative frequency less than type in cell heighted as light sky blue color, in order to save time. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.